Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft World Update. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse at the beginning. Most of it took place right here at our base and with our new slime farm which has now been built. Uh, you may be confused as to why I cleared out uh, the area above the slime farm and it actually has to do with how how spawning works. Apparently uh, if you have blocks in these higher sub chunks you can kind of see where like I got F, I pressed F3 plus G to show the chunk folders. So this is our slime chunk. And you can see uh, this 16 by 16 sub chunk and apparently having these sub chunks uh, occupied with blocks means the game tries to do spawn attempts there and that uh, slows down the rates of the farm. Uh, that's what what I've heard anyways. Uh, this isn't my design and if it's actually bu ba built based on or well really it is the design and of uh, what is it? Il Mango I believe is the name. I may be wrong on YouTube. I'll link, link it in the description if you're interested. Um, there's not that many slime balls in here right now because I've already recently went ahead and collected into them all, but yeah, I got these uh, double speed unloaders. Oh, I must extrude it up when I uh, tap the cart. There we go. But yeah, just go ahead and pick up these slime balls and such. But yeah, this this thing has been absolutely amazing. It it is getting been getting me a lot of freaking slime balls. And the funny thing is, I did test it. Um, test out the rates of it. The in the tutorial, he said that this farm is supposed to get about sixteen thousand drops per hour in a perfect world, where there's no other spawning spaces, there's no other mobs taking up the hostile mob cap. Uh, sixteen into thousand drops an hour. This one only pulled down about a thousand, a little over a thousand drops per hour. So about six to seven percent efficiency. Yeah, that that's kind kind of crazy to think. I mean, hey, for six to seven percent, it definitely seems to be doing pretty well. Around the base here, you can see a lot has actually changed in the since the first update or update zero. I have a lot more chests here. I actually have an AFK fish farm. And I've been doing a lot of AFK fishing. Yeah, over nine sacks of name tags, water bottles, uh, fishing rods, saddles, fish, and of course mending books. This chest contains just mending books. And then these chests going all the way up to there. Yep, those are full of enchanted books. So yeah, I got more items from this thing than I know what to do with and such. You know what? This, this is... This uh, AFK fishing farm is also kind of a good way to get XP. Um, you know, it's not really the fastest way, of course, but hey, you know, you set set the farm off and, uh, overnight, and then in the morning, you have like 50, 60 levels. So, you know, it's a it's a pretty good little farm farm design here. I forget whose design it is actually. Um, it's just a pretty basic one. Where it has the screen with the trip wire. Uh, uh, let me see if I can demo it here. Uh, you go ahead and get the keyboard to just. Basically, you probably rebind your key to a key on the keyboard that you can just. Uh, they can just tape down. And you just leave your game run like this. Run like this for hours upon hours upon hours. And because this is a mending fishing rod, it'll never break. Unless something stupid happens like that. If this is happening, the farm's not working. That, that's, that's not working correctly. But, yeah. Over here is something that you probably noticed during the time lapse. This is an item elevator. And these are item transport streams. Basically, while I'm clearing out the chunks, when my inventory fills up, I drop my entire inventory into these streams. And it takes it over here. The elevator then takes it up there and drops it into an array of chests up top and the amazing thing about this thing is it actually has the 
capacity of eight individual hopper chains. Yeah, uh, I got the I got four droppers, and they send and they send items off at double the rate of hoppers thanks to this torch burnout clock. Uh, I turn this thing on as needed, or just leave it on 24/7. Uh, since it's you know just a small little clock and and thing right here But yeah, I got two hopper chains that feed into each of the droppers and yeah This thing is actually overkill. Uh, it could easily handle two people Mining and dropping items into this thing. This thing was literally kind of uh, it, it was overkill really I what I built here was overkill but it is pretty pretty cool, and it is something that I think when we do actually build, start building the towers and building the stuff within them, we're gonna need an item elevator, and something high capacity like this may be in order. And when it comes to the underground, you may wonder, why am I clearing it out like this? Well, because I want to. That's basically the answer right there. And also because I want to clear out any possible spaces where monsters could spawn. So, to do that, just clear out everything. And then I got the slime chunks covered. That means I don't have a far away slime chunks where slimes, slimes can still spawn. You know, caves may be lit up, but slimes can still spawn. And thus, you know, hurt the rate of our slime farm here. But, yeah. I also do kind of plan to do something with the underground here when it comes to the base. I think I'll have the towers extend downwards to bedrock as well and we'll probably incorporate uh, a lot of stuff in the basement of the towers but yeah that's about it right there and the spawn you saw in the beginning of the video during the time lapse uh, basically I've just cleared out trees and marked up the perimeter for the spawn chunks there in anticipation of in the future starting to build stuff there like Maybe an Iron Phoenix. I'm considering building an Iron Phoenix there. Uh, the one where with 64 villages and, and, it, and it takes like 90 minutes to build up those villages. Uh, but it's self-building. So I might do that at some point, especially given my iron supply is not very uh, good. Popping into the never over here. And uh, you can see... I have a lot of chests in here, full of Neverack. Oh goodness, and if I didn't, did I? Yes, yes I did, and yes I am. I'm also clearing out the Never in anticipation of building a uh, Wither Skeleton farm in addition to Zombie Pigman, Gold, Blazeman. Basically a Wither Skeleton farm doubles as a lot of Never farms. Everything pretty much except Gasks. And Maybe not magma creams, uh, depends on what farm design you go for. But yeah, I'm not going to show you it, but I have a, a portal to an ice spikes biome, a desert with a village, what I've been doing a lot of trades with in order to get those emeralds, uh, a witch hut, I have done nothing there except build a portal there. At some point in the future I may build a witch farm, I don't know. It's just something to keep in mind. I also have a mushroom island. Which is actually not much of an island. It's actually connected to the, to the mainland. Uh, and it's actually quite small for a mushroom island. I've seen quite a bit bigger. Uh, we got a mesa over here. Uh, of course, I've been mining there for hardened clay. And ocean monument. Uh, an ocean monument. Uh, I haven't really been there yet. I got the portal set up to it. But that's about it. And I do want to do something with that ocean monument at some point. That is part of the plan to build a farm there at some point. Oh, and something I have forgot to, to mention, which is obvious and you can see it, is I have three beacons currently and uh, two river skeleton cells. I need to get a third one. From up here, you can get a pretty good bird's eye view of the entire base as it stands currently. All of the chests we got down there, bunch of temporary farms, uh, animals, which are going to have to be moved out of the way at some point. So, that's pretty much everything. In a nutshell, that's what's happened since the last update. Are we done here? Well, no. 
we got some, uh, I got something I want to do today. Something I haven't done yet. And I, I like to do today in this episode. Right here is that something. Yes. The end portal. The end. The ender dragon. Elytra. And shulker boxes. Things that I have wanted to do for quite some time, but I wanted to wait until we had uh, an episode in which I could do them because I thought they were significant enough that we should do them on episode together. And unfortunately, I got these silverfish because I absolutely refuse to de destroy the mob spawner. Uh, yeah, I need to spawn proof this place, get rid of the stone blocks, because apparently all the stone blocks, uh, silverfish could spawn on them at any light level, so that is an issue. But yeah, uh, thanks to my AFK fish farm, uh, I do have quite the armor with me. I have a pretty good sword. Actually, I probably shouldn't be bringing my mending sword. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Uh... I got my, I don't even need my shovel, I don't know why I have it. I got my bow with infinity and an arrow. I got strength free potions, instant health two, I'm sorry, strength two, instant health two, regular strength. Uh, yeah. Now, the time has come. As soon as I kill this silverfish because I do not want it going into the end portal with me. All right. Bam. With the portal open, let me get my hotbar ready. My food is good, so I am going to move it away like, oh crap, that could be a big problem. That silverfish just went for the end portal. Um, I'm gonna get ender pearls on my hotbar. And instant health, check, check, check. Okay, we're good. We got the end of pearls, in case we spawn over the void. There's only one place to go now. And I really want that elytra. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me, really? Crap! Ah! Uh, I don't like destroying his fathers, but I should have done that a long time ago. Dang it! Seems like my planned trip to the end has been ruined. Uh, let's actually go ahead, go down here. I'm gonna do something real quick. And that is, I'm going to make a suicide run. I've already died once. Let's grab a bunch of cobblestone. Okay, so what have we learned today? Silverfish suck. Destroy the spawner. Get rid of it. Get rid of the silverfish. Silverfish could go freaking die. And also, end platform spawning sucks. It sucks. Ah, let's just make a suicide run here. Okay, no more silverfish on our platform. Duh. Well, we have a, a really nice end. Uh, you know, this is actually a pretty good spot because we could build a a, uh, a enderman farm out here pretty easily. So, that would work out great. Uh, now I just gotta wait for the dragon to come and uh, mess up my day. But that's okay, this is a bit of a suicide run anyways. Really, I should have probably came through and just did a suicide run in the first place. But I thought I was prepared, I thought I was ready. I had my ender pearls in hand. Nothing was gonna kill me. And then something killed me. But yeah. Here we are! We're at the end! So, yeah. How you doing, Enderman? Hello. Hi. You like to kill me? There you go. That's good. Okay, here we go. Attempt number two. I pulled out my backup set of armor and my backup set of equipment. 
I uh, got a new ender chest, I brewed new potions, I got my other golden apples, and I got my ender pearls. Ender pearls and hot bar. Silverfish spawner already destroyed. It should have been destroyed a long time ago. My goodness, look at all of these. These are silverfish blocks. Uh, at some point, I'm going to have to demolish this place. Okay. Now I'm going to go through the portal, and the dragon's just going to ram me in the first five seconds, and we're going to be back to square one. But hey, uh, we'll, we'll get it eventually. Okay. Go, 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 go. All right. We are good. We are good, and I will take back my XP. Thank you very much. There's the dragon. Shoot, I forgot ladders. Crap, I need them. Platform to protect me from the Endermen. Possibly as a just-in-case backup. You can tell I've learned from experience. Ha, <laughs> ha. Okay, there's that guy up there. Let's go ahead, do this. Oh crap, where's my, where's my garbage? Darn it, darn it, darn it. Eh. There we go, now we got our ladders. Let's go ahead and do that. Enderman, don't you dare look at me. Okay. There we go, we got another one right there. Oh my goodness, the lag due to our particle effects. There we go. Got another one and another one. All right. We are doing pretty darn good here. Dang it. Got another one over there. Okay. Come on. There we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we are on a freaking roll now. Hmm, that one may be too high. Oh no, we got it, we got it. Uh, and we got that one. Okay, so that just leaves, my goodness, all the particles, all the lag. Uh, crap, I'm gonna need my water bucket here. Crap, this is very close to the edge. This is very close to the edge. Let's do this one first. Let's save the dangerous one for last. Okay. Now he's gonna come out. He's gonna try and ram me. Oh, crap. Do that. Golden apple. Okay. Everything's good. We're only gonna die to the dragon. No biggie. Alright. That's good enough. We drop down. Grab our water. Grab our bow and arrow. And come on. I exposed enough of, enough of it. There we go. We got one more to go here. And this one is right next to the void. Oh joy. Mm, can't go down. Crap. Oh, can't really go down. Oh, uh -huh. Nope. 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 No! Oh. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's... What? What? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh my goodness! What the heck? Oh, 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 oh no! Where do what the heck? No! You took out my freaking, my freaking en Enderman stuff! No! No! This jerk! There we go. What? 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 Oh my god. Whoa. 
Whoa! Whoa! What the heck? No oh, crap! Crap, 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 crap. Oh, where's these endermen? Uh, now I need a new platform. Eight minute strength. Actually, I don't know if strength affects bows or not. It may not. Oh my goodness, he is so freaking low. Okay, guys, we we got this. This time, I will win. Come at me. No, don't look at me. Don't look at me. No, don't freaking look at me. Don't look at me. No, 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 no. There we go. Got it. Ah. Oh. It's glorious. Everything I had ever imagined. My goodness, and a bunch of XP levels. Yeah. Okay. All right. Level 68. Yeah, level 68. Okay. And we got the dragon egg there. So. All it took was... Some silverfish killing me and, uh... Oh, look, there's one of those fiends. Oh. We are definitely going to be going for one of those at some point. But yeah. Throw away the bottle. Don't need that bottle. But yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, there we go. And Ender Dragon defeated. That was harder than I thought it would be. I mean, honestly, it was easier in Hardcore. And we all know the outcome of Hardcore. Uh, and let this be a lesson to you all. Destroy the silver fish, fish spawner. Destroy it. But yeah. Anyways, guys, that is it for this Minecraft world update. In between episodes, I will, of course, be going ahead and collecting shulker boxes and getting myself some elytra. I'm really looking forward to that. It's just that I got 66 levels. I should probably use it to replace all the gear I ended up losing. So, yeah. Until next time, see you all later. Bye.